When it comes to presenting yourself in front of a recruiter or an employer, there are mainly three assets that you can use to really stand out. Number one is your resume, number two is your LinkedIn page, and number three is your portfolio. And to me, all of these three are equally important. I already made a video showing the resume strategies that Lemmy offers at Amazon, Uber, and Google, and I will leave it here. And I'm also planning to do a video on how to optimize your LinkedIn profile so that the algorithm will show your page in the top search. And I will leave the link here once that is ready. But the focus for today is your portfolio. Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met before, I'm Laura, I'm a data analytics lead working in London. Today I'm going to guide you through the art of creating impressive data analytics portfolio and I will also give you at the end a smart way to create your personal portfolio from scratch in just a few minutes. I will quickly cover why a data portfolio is important, what information to include in it, how to describe your projects, how to share your portfolio with recruiters and best of all, the tool that will make sure that your portfolio will stand out. So without further ado, let's get into the so what of this video. So let's start by understanding why a data portfolio is essential. So imagine you are a recruiter looking to hire a data analyst. You receive countless of resumes all claiming similar skills and qualifications. But what set an exceptional candidates apart? The answer is very simple, a remarkable data portfolio, because that is like a visual representation of your expertise, telling your unique story and giving employers a taste of what you can bring into the table. And so a portfolio is useful for other people to see what you are capable of, but you can twist the story and also see the portfolio as very useful to yourself as well because if you think about it your portfolio will definitely boost your confidence level during the interviews because whenever you say something like i have advanced python skills you can just back up your statements mentioning that you have a python project in your portfolio proving your skills now let's talk about what to include in your data portfolio think of it as a curated collection that represents your skills and experience in the world of data analytics just like a wardrobe that reflects your style your data portfolio should reflect your unique journey and expertise. First of all, you have to showcase your best data analytics projects. And so you can choose one project, a key tool or technique you have mastered, whether it's uh, predictive modeling, data visualization, or exploratory analysis. I all the time prefer quality over quantity. And so one project per key tool is more than enough to showcase your proficiency because it's about demonstrating your ability to apply the tools effectively rather than overwhelming with a long list of projects. My favorite approach is to use uh, one project to showcase at least two core hard skills. And so an example is a project that shows that you can use SQL, but also demonstrate your statistical skills. Another example could be a project with uh, Python that also shows you can do financial modeling. Or another example would be a Tableau dashboard that shows digital marketing expertise. I guess you got the idea. Alongside your projects is a great idea to include a section about yourself and your experience. You can tell your story, you can highlight your educational background, any relevant certifications and your journey into the world of data analytics. And so this uh, personal touch helps a potential employers get to know you beyond just your projects and will also help them to have everything about you in one place instead of having, for example, your resume on one side and your portfolio on the other. The thing that I want you to do here is to put yourself in the shoes of the recruiter and think what is the easiest way for me to know everything about a candidate in the fastest way possible. And the answer could be a sort of a portfolio that also has some elements of your resume so that you have everything in one place. And I will show you in just a second how to do that. Now let me share some tips on how you should describe your projects because obviously apart from the link of a dashboard or your 100 lines of uh, Python code you will need to give the recruiters the context of what you've been up to. So we humans love stories and uh, the same applies to data analytics. One effective way to describe your projects is by using the STAR framework which is widely preferred by companies not only during interviews but also when building your portfolio. And so the STAR framework stands for situation, task, action and result. And so for each project, clearly define the situation or problem uh, you were facing, describe the, the task, the objective you set out uh, to accomplish, outline the action you took to tackle the challenge, and this is the place where you should include your code or technical element of your work. And finally, super important, share the results you achieved. And so by using the STAR framework, you provide a clear structure to your project description, and it allows recruiters to easily follow your thought process and understand the impact of your work. And remember to quantify your achievements whenever possible, whether it's uh, improved efficiency or cost savings or increased revenue. If you have a project on personal finance, like the one that I made in this tutorial here, tell the amount of money that you're able to save thanks to this project. And obviously, don't forget to put your personal touch so you can share your passion, enthusiasm and the lessons you learned along the way. So in this way, you let your personality shine through your project description so that they become memorable and captivating. And by the way, once you have created this 
text, make sure to post it as an article on Medium so that other people can learn from you. Posting it as an article and making it public will force you to put an extra hour of work into it to make it as clear as possible, or at least that was the case for me. Now you put in the hard work and created an impressive data portfolio. Now how do you share it with recruiters? Ideally your portfolio should be easily accessible to anyone, anytime and from any device. So one effective way is to create a dedicated web page or website link that showcases your data portfolio. And so you have to ensure that your web page is a clean and user-friendly design, obviously making it easy for recruiters to navigate and find the information they need. And when designing your portfolio web page, keep in mind that recruiters may view it in different devices such as laptops, uh, tablets, or smartphones. And so make sure your portfolio is responsive and adapts to various screen sizes because this ensures that recruiters can easily read and navigate your portfolio no matter what device they're using. Now to make sure that you can implement all the concepts that I just explained in an easy way and obviously trying to save you plenty of time, especially if you are building your website from scratch, uh, there are two tools that I will use to create your final portfolio. So the first way is to use a website called datascienceportfolio.io, which is all free and I have a whole tutorial on it and I will leave it here. The website is super easy to use and the final result is actually very good. The second way is to use a Notion template that I created and then you can download from from the video description, again, all for free. It provides a structured framework that covers all the essential elements you need to include, from the project description using the star method to visual representations and also code embedding. It's uh, all there so that you can save time and ensure you don't miss any crucial details. And the template is fully customizable, allowing you to personalize it and make it truly reflective of your unique skills and experiences. Because the problem of other portfolio websites is that you will need to follow their structure, which sometimes can be a huge limitation. I also included there my main personal data projects so that you can take inspiration from my work and also my resume template if you need inspiration from that as well. Plus this is a format that can be accessed from laptop, tablet or phone so making it perfect for anyone to easily go through it. So if you're interested make sure to check it out from the video description. And there you have it, a quick summary on what you need to create a powerful data portfolio that will make you closer to landing a job. If you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and sharing with others who are on their own data analytics journey. I will leave you in the screen some other videos that you might find useful and well enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.